full of suspense. It is very sexy game because then it's like, who's into who? Who's feeling what? Gosh. Oh, I'm sure we would get killed if we answered that question. <laughs> Hello, Lope Sail Thailand. I'm Luke Newton. And I'm Nicola Coughlin. Dearest gentle reader, we have been apart for far too long. She's not seeking a husband in you, I hope. No, I'm only helping her find one. Read her about Penelope. Is it our minds or our hearts? I love it. Yeah, I love it as well. Do you know what? I absolutely love it. It's been great. It was so much fun. Yeah. And it was really, I really enjoyed diving into their story, mm -hmm. seeing, you know, getting to really dive into the um, all shades of their personalities, their relationship. Yeah, it was like a shared experience that we may never have again. Because we shoot for eight months, so it's very intense, and we'd known each other, <coughs> we'd known each other five years total, but mm. like doing this with a friend and, you know, having such a great support system and us to be able to like, you know, be there the early mornings, the late nights, yeah. the, the dances, the this, yeah. that, it was like an amazing, mm. amazing experience. I felt like it was, it felt really different to me from the previous oh, yeah. seasons. Yeah. It felt like a kind of, but it's funny that with this show, and I think it's by merit of the, the leads changing every year, it, each year's had a very different energy, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, um, yeah. And then in season two, you know, when we filmed, it was really COVID restricted. Yeah. So all of the cast were very separate. Yeah. Yeah, so it was really nice for us to then yeah. everyone get back and we had so much more freedom to like be together mm -hmm. and, yeah. and do all of that, yeah. yeah. Just diving into the scripts I mm. think just really yeah I mean it's so beautifully written what Jess and her team have done is so like it gives us so much to mm. work with but then also you know rocking up on the day and working with the, these incredible directors yeah. that we got to shoot with they just yeah. really gave us like the freedom to explore different versions of the scene and you know now that we've seen it we're so happy with what everyone's yeah. come up with yeah I think just in prep it was sort of getting in the, the right mind frame to do it, I think because I knew it was gonna be a real marathon for yeah. us. So... We did sort of discuss being like... Yeah, be quite feel, sensible yeah. and like, you know, like boring things like going to bed early and yeah. going to the gym and eating well. Yeah. Be, to just be mentally and physically prepared to, mm -hmm. to not get really tired and to give it your everything. Cause you wanna get onto set and leave everything there yeah. and don't watch the scene back and go, oh, I wish I'd done a bit more prep. Oh, I yeah. wish I'd like, you know, worked on the lines more. You want to feel like you're giving everything in every scene. Yeah. Gosh, mm -hmm. I think it's in reality probably very hard. Yeah, I think um, there's a real turning point and mm -hmm. it, we've kind of started to introduce it at the end of season two when Penelope sees Colin sort of slagging her off to the other lords mm -hmm. you know he's had a bit to drink i will put that i know out there. i know but I've, yeah I've he's like him. yeah he's being <laughs> not as nice as he normally would be and then once we get to a moment in season three where that's discussed and we're kind of on an even playing field uh, the dynamic between the two kind of shifts and then and then we can play and then it's like yeah. all fun and games because then it's like who's into who who's feeling what like it's yeah. there, then it gets really exciting if yeah the power yeah. dynamic totally switches which is was so much fun for us to play after yeah. you know two seasons of it being sort of a same dynamic and yeah. season, but like yeah it's mm -hmm. all up in the air now i think well with penelope in penelope's case it's about not putting someone on a pedestal and mm -hmm. realizing they're a real person everyone is just a person and but also then part of me i'm like take the chance life is short yeah, yeah you can't do if it, it doesn't work out yeah. It doesn't work out. Then at least you know. You'll <laughs> at least never, you know, yeah. You never think, what if? You don't want to be tortured just... for life being like, but if I just told them, yeah. I could, yeah. Oh, I'm sure we would get killed if we answered that question. <laughs> well, we'd want to. What we'd want to. Not maybe what is happening. I want, well, it, she's not in the family, but Lady Danbury, I'm like, what does she get up to? Yeah. That's great. Right? I was, I just really want. And for me, it's like, Mama. Mama, Mama Bridgie. B. 
Yeah. yeah. Just to like see maybe a history of the mama bee. I don't know. Yeah, I would love She's, that. Yeah, I, we love Ruth. We love Ruth. So Thai fans, I think you don't want to miss Bridgeton season two because it's romantic, mm -hmm. it's exciting, yeah. it's full of suspense. It is, it's very sexy, it's very honest, it's authentic. And look, you've followed us for two seasons now, <laughs> so you've got to see how it all plays out. So yeah, we hope you enjoy. Hope you enjoy.